to see you as always. Today we're going to read a book. I'm going to read a book called Corduroy, written by Don Freeman. And Corduroy, it's a little teddy bear. In fact, we can overall on. A little button here with the strap. And then a button over here. Let's see. Corduroy is a bear who lived in the toy department of a big store. And he waited with all the other animals and dogs for somebody to come along and take him home. They want somebody to buy him, to take him home from the store. It says toys. T-O-Y-S. Toy. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things. But no one ever seemed to want a small bear and green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eye. Oh, Mommy, she said. Look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I spent too much money already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button on one of the shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I lost the button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed down carefully, getting down from the show, and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator, and he went up. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. Then this must be a bed, he said. I always wanted to sleep in a bed. And he curled onto a large thick mattress. All at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. Like all the other mattress buttons on the mattresses, it was tied down tight. He's pulling it and pulling it, but he can't get it up. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop! Off came the button, and the mat and off the mattress corduroy toppled. <gasps> ah, he's falling off the mattress! Bang into the tour floor lamp. Over it, it fell with a crash. Boom. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night man was going on his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now, who in the world did that, he explained. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his lights under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman took Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning and there looking at him with a wide, warm smile, the same little girl he had only seen the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I was saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you, the sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arm. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs, into her family's apartment and straight into her own room. Corduroy blinked and he went like this. He closed his eyes and opened them fast. There was a chair, a chest, 
of drawers and alongside a girl sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. Oh, this must be home, he said. I knew I always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable once your shoulder strap is fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. The end. Hope you like the story about Corduroy, the little bear in the department store who gets to go home with the little girl, Lisa. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you in our next video. Bye!